Hello and welcome to the Game and Just Do a Podcast number 34. <laughs> I was like counting that down for a solid 20 seconds. Basically, mm-hmm. it's like that whole three, two, and like really stalling three, two, one out. Basically is what just happened. Um, one and a half. One, <laughs> one, one and three half. quarters. Oh, wait, I was counting up. Whoops. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I am one of your hosts, TBC Act, but you can call me Teddy. And this is Eric. Also known as Legend PVM. This is true. Uh, we are an entertainment podcast that mostly focuses on video games, PlayStation, Destiny, uh, superheroes, TV, movie, comics, and Xbox. More Destiny. In, yeah, <laughs> lots of Destiny today, specifically. Yeah. But, uh, you know, Xbox, since we now both own one. Yeah. Yeah, it's happening. Dude. True. So, uh, what, random impromptu planning on the podcast. When do you work this week? Oh, I well this week. Yeah. I don't know until oh, I won't, you don't know until it. tomorrow. Oh, okay. But tomorrow I work three to eight, and the next day I work three to eight. Okay. I don't know. At some point, we need to get on ODST. At some point. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we. What have we been playing this week? Boom. We've been ODST. playing <laughs> Halo Boom. Three ODST. Uh, we got we through got like four missions. Quite I think. a bit through. I think it was four missions, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Four out of uh, four out of eleven. It felt like more, but it, was just... it felt like more, but because they like, have a certain system yeah. in that game. Yeah. The like a certain part of it doesn't actually count as the missions. It's like just sort of exploring to get to a thing that will start the next mission. I really freaking like ODST a lot so far. That's, yeah. a, that's all I got to freaking say about that game. It's great. Uh, I, I don't. I didn't remember much from it, so it's like really fresh to yeah. me. Yeah. It's great. What do you think Halo Four will be that same way, or do you think you'll remember a lot from Halo Four? You'll probably. I only remember remember, like the big story plot at the end. I don't remember any of the characters. Cool. Yeah. I'm so freaking excited for Halo Five. Um, I'm trying. Okay, so I was I was going through this in my head like all day, as in you're gonna freaking remember what you played this past week. Uh, I played. And beat Limbo, I think, last Monday. Yeah. I think. Um, so, yeah. That, that was cool. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, you, you take a turn. What did, what did you play? Because I... I beat I'll be Limbo. About it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, I... Well. Yeah. Uh, Ryan's playing it right now as we speak. <laughs> oh, dang. I'm going to get that platinum on first try. <laughs> Oh, oh, awesome. <laughs> Let me just hold uh, this up to the camera so you can see the glorious thing that Ryan said. Is it going to focus? No, it's not going to. What did you say? It's basically, he said, so limbo is hard, dot, 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 and then later he's like, I got it with five exclamation points. <laughs> Suck my dick, spider! Exclamation <laughs> points. Did you guys have so much, how does he have so much trouble with the spider? It's no. pretty hard. I Spider's guess, I mean, pretty hard, mate. All of I it is hard. Yeah. You just have played it like six yeah. million times. I died at the spider. I'm not gonna lie because the last leg, it like yeah, it, you, it actually you goes two. straight for you. Yeah, you actually you, have to yep. back off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I and, died there too. Yeah, that's how like, that's why I was going in. I was like, oh, I can do this. I can do this without dying five times. And then and was, he was like, nope. <laughs> wait, I forgot this game like is such a troll sometimes. <laughs> when that happens, so. Yeah. Um, we legitimately need to freaking. I'm just gonna tell him right now. He needs to freaking download Laura Croft. Yeah, man. I want to it's play fun. that. It's really I fun. I really want to play it. Real uh, fun. Download Laura Croft. Wow, I typed in Laura and it. I, or I tried to do the drag typing for Laura and it put oh. freaking Kara. That's not it. Kara. Not Kara Croft. It's Kara. <laughs> Kara Croft is her her daughter in the future. Um. So I played Limbo, I played, we freaking played a lot of um, uh, ODST, we played uh, a lot of Prison of Elders, oh, yes. did we and do Skull You guys got two of the POE, 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 P-O-E <laughs> Prison of Elders the exotics, po. and the, the POE po. exotics, yeah. <laughs> and I got one of them. Yeah. Um, and so I basically cool. have I got the luckiest out of all of us when it comes to Elder Ciphers. I have the my third one, like already lined up. As in, like I just need points, and then I will have Gosh, my third one. What? Yep. 
the frick, man? Yep. I still need to get the queen cipher. For I've the second gotten one, an elder cipher a third one. <laughs> basically any time I've like wanted to. As in, like I was like, okay, I don't. I got one on my titan. Now let's see if I can get one on my warlock. I do one skull last run and I got it. And then I was like, all right, cool. I got two. Let's see if I can get it on my hunter. And then I did it on my hunter and I got it. And I was like, all right. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I need to run Skullless on my... We might do that after this. Ryan yeah. was asking about it. But then, I'll do it my hunter. at the same time, we could freaking raid. Freaking Jared it... is over there. Freaking Crota. I might be down for both of those. Um... <sighs> Me and Ryan, this is something we else we played. Me and freaking Ryan, because we're really gosh dang excited for Black Ops 3. Me, he, I didn't even have to hook up my PS3 or whatever because it's already hooked up. But he dragged his PS3 out from like another room and hooked it up in, in, into his room. And, uh... And we were both, like, we both had to do, like, tech stuff. Like, my DualShock 4 didn't didn't immediately work. I had to, like, restart it because it wasn't working with the game. And there was, like, a bunch of weird stuff. And I was like, what did we expect playing on this dinosaur of a console? <laughs> but, <laughs> but we eventually got it to work, and we played about an hour of it. Gosh dang, Black Ops 2 is, is really good. I just, yeah. I feel bad because if I had been playing that, like, in... At the right time, I would have gotten really, really into it, but I just didn't play. It didn't come out at the right time for me. Yeah. And that's why I'm excited for Black Ops 3, even though technically Black Ops 3 is not going to be at a good time either, because we're going to be freaking starting to college. Also, Fallout and Battlefront and yeah. Dragon King and all the games. You're but, <laughs> you know, uh, I'll definitely, I'm I'm very excited for it, though. Um, the beta is starting this Wednesday to next Sunday, I think. Let me make sure. Mm. Yep, this Wednesday and the next Sunday. And I will at least try and stream that once, maybe? and Or make a video of it, just because I... I don't know, I'm really looking forward to trying out. The specialist stuff looks so awesome. Do you know... Do you even... Do you know about the specialist stuff, mate? Yeah, specialist? I watched, like, the trailer for Black Ops 3. That's so, basically... Uh, well, actually, you heard about this at one point, but now it's, like, in more detail. The mm -hmm. specialist stuff is basically like evolve in a yeah. way it's basically very moba-esque as in each uh there i think there's nine specialists and before you go into a game you choose your specialist and each specialist has a a weapon and an ability and you can choose if fist you want havoc. yes legitimately there is a fist of havoc and there is a freaking gold gun and it makes me upset but um <laughs> There is, you choose between a weapon or an ability, and like, here, I'll pull up their website and give you an example of one. Oh, oh freaking crap, here, Blops 3. While you're doing that, I'm just going to say that I played Guild Wars 2 yesterday. Nice. That was fun. Crikey, night. <laughs> where? Did you start a new character with Jerry? Yeah, with Jerry. What level did you get to? Like, 8. He's awesome. I'm... Mm -hmm. I, yeah, that's yeah. Guild that, Wars 2 is like one of the few the MMOs that I just want to take a week or two and just like get to the max level to yeah. play some of the high level, the end game stuff. I want to do that with so many games. <laughs> I, I freaking yeah. Know. So oh, Guild Wars. okay. So here is the example. One of the also each uh, specialist is like a specific character. I'm sure you can, like, customize yeah. it a little bit, but, like, it's I've heard about character. this a little bit. Uh, freaking, like, let me show you this. Let me give you a picture of this, because, uh, this freaking character design is awesome. It's like a gosh dang hunter. Um, yeah. she's, it's like this chick with, like, this hood and this bow and arrow. It's and really golden cool. gun. Uh, no, this is the bow and arrow one. But no. the, basically, okay, here's an example of a specialist. Uh, it's called Prophet. They all have, like, you know, Call of Duty names. Prophet, and yeah. the, his weapon is called Call Tempest, Duty. and his ability is called Glitch. This ability is the coolest one that I've heard of. But the weapon is basically, like, it shoots a bolt of lightning, and it will electrify the person and kill them. But if anyone steps... You send it? Oh, no, I, I couldn't find a good picture for the Outrider. I mean, here's right. one, but it's not the picture I was looking for. But there's, there's a picture about it. Might as well show the people. Oh. Yeah. 
it's not the cool one that I was looking for, but it you know it's I right. so, um yeah, like crisis. Yeah, but the, uh, so oh. this is I I mean I'll send you this page right here. This is the page that I'm looking at. But basically, Prophet he he has his weapon is Tempest and his ability is Glitch. Tempest shoots a bolt of lightning that kills the person, and if anyone steps near that, it will chain to them and immediately kill them. Hmm. So, like, you can lock down an area with that, and the ability glitch, this is the freaking coolest thing I've heard, glitch allows you to teleport back to where you were a couple of seconds ago. Huh. So, basically, like, the way like they demonstrate blink. it... Yeah, a backwards blink. The way they demonstrate it, demonstrated it is, like, if you run into a room and find yourself with against, like, freaking oh, four yeah. enemies, <laughs> you glitch, and, and you're gone. I was That's like, really oh, cool. all of this is really cool. They all have really cool characters. Like, uh, that Outrider has a, has a bow. Freaking, that's her mm -hmm. weapon. And, uh, oh, man. Oh, her ability, the Outrider's ability, I actually am surprised I know this. The Outrider's ability is basically, like, there, you've seen stuff like this in COD before, but she does, like, a pulse with her hand, and it basically shows enemies through walls. For like a good for a good bit. Oh, okay. And then so it's yeah. like wall hacks from yeah, m a lots of features. Yeah. Like, yeah. It it's it's all really cool and really unique. And there's nine of them. What's weird is that they released a bunch of beta info for like what's gonna be in the. Beta. So what is this like a hero system? Like, yes. What? Yes. And you each specialist uh, has its own ranking system, as in you're gonna like level up each specialist and whatnot. So it adds like a whole new layer to the progression system. But um what was I saying? The Now oh, well I forgot. But oh yeah, yeah yeah. The beta has seven game modes and the beta they were talking what's freaking weird about this specialist thing is that there are nine specialists and the beta is gonna have eight of them. Oh my gosh. Not nine. No, not not the ninth Why one. Nine? I Why know it, it. It makes me scared. Maybe they're holding back some Pure really. Package. Maybe they're holding back some OP one. That's like the game's gonna release, and this one's just gonna be super OP. I don't know. It's, maybe it's uh, Arc Void. <laughs> but <laughs> uh, but I'm to be, close my door. Yeah. Yeah. To be honest, the all of the specialists seem or not all the specialists. Freaking yeah. Black Ops is has seemed to be in my opinion like i you know i'm not ryan i'm not the call of duty expert we'll have to bring him on here at some point yeah, um we can really because we're not like spoiling every three yeah. things you know. but uh and his, if his computer would get fixed yeah it, if once his computer is freaking fixed he can, he can be on <laughs> but um yeah the all of the black apps games from what i know seem to be the most balanced of all the call of duties like, Black Ops 1 was pretty dang balanced. I mean, you had the FAMAS, but that was, like, it. <laughs> and then Black Ops... Honestly, I, I mean, I wasn't around Black Ops 2 as much as Ryan was. I mean, there are clear, like... But today, I was like, is there an OP gun in Black Ops 2? And he's like, not really. He's like, these are the two best ARs. These are the two best SMGs and stuff. And I was like, all right. So, I don't know. I have hopes that Black Ops 3 is going to be really balanced. Cause right. Of the previous history, hmm. uh, so yeah, we played that today and it was fun. We're we're he's gonna go put five dollars on the game so that he can play the beta with me in the week. Um, I think that's most of what I played. Uh, we did a freaking flawless trials run last night because we're OP. Yeah, we're just we MLG. won that. We're just two MLG. We didn't get we didn't get that that sick. Trilateral. Trilateral. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I got my, I freaking learned how to snipe again. It was amazing. We played combined arms. That was cool. Uh, I I still want to play more. Yeah, that was fun. That was fun. I think that was all that I played in the past week. Do you have anything else? I can't think of anything else. Um. I don't. Uh, not really. Oh, oh, I forgot a big one. Not really a big one. Today. Uh, I've been on and off uh, playing The Walking Dead Season 1 on PS4 because I want because if mm. Season 3 ever comes out, I want my saves to be there. So I yeah. own Season 1 and Season 2. It just takes a while to play through them. Like, I sat down for, like, two hours, and I'm, 
I'm on episode three now, which is, you know, freaking progress. It's pretty yeah. good. Uh, um, but yeah, that's it. I played, I've been playing Fallout Shelter. That oh, yeah. Oh. Came out. Transition into the news. <laughs> yeah. Fallout Shelter came out this week. Yes. And on Android. On Android, yeah. yeah. All those iOS um, users have had it for a while now. It it's a it's really good. Yeah, I mean, really I haven't cool. looked at it in two days, but yeah, it's awesome. It's really cool. I like all the stuff it does, and I don't know. I I like that all of this is a weird compliment for it, but I like that all of the uh, vault dwellers are like in the aesthetic of like the Pit Boy thing. Like right. the whole world is in that, which is yeah, great like for a, a mobile game. Freaking right. works perfectly. Yeah, go go freaking download it. It's free. What do you got to lose? That's what I say about free. PlayStation Plus every month. Just I mean, freaking and download if you, it. If you are in a, in a time of your life where you're sitting around doing nothing and you have a smartphone, this is a good deal life. because they don't like try to like cash grab you, really. Before. Yeah, there's not any big like I mean, you can wait, play offline wait five too. minutes or pay a dollar and <laughs> yeah right or, now, and there's good. no like uh yeah there's no energy system where you're like oh you can't do anything until yeah. you wait 24 hours and you get more energy that's like the dumbest system and i'm glad it's not there freaking you know? oh man i can't remember the guy's oh, name dang. now i feel really bad but the guy who spoke at the bethesda conference the guy who freaking made all the uh, games the dude uh, who is like not great. remember his name yeah oh my gosh you're right he's like Reddit like has a, there's like a whole his name is Todd I know yeah that. it's Todd it's Todd, Todd Howard Howard yeah Todd Howard. and people like I was thinking him. Tom <laughs> then I was like I can't that's not it yeah but he came out and when he was talking about Fallout Shelter he's like there's no this there's no this yes and you can but only I mean, buy there is the some lunch boxes you can buy to him to make your progress yeah or but like it, help it's you it's like completely optional you know yeah you don't feel like you have to pay money at any point right which is great. Uh, so yeah, the first first uh, bit of news, freaking Eric, you freaking this is the first bit of news that came out this week that I was really yeah. excited about. Freaking, they actually talked about the Attack on Titan game. We talked about Finally. this last week where we we're like Attack on Titan game, but we don't know anything about it. So, uh, oh wait, Teddy, your son just got back from war. Oh yeah, snap! I'm so proud of him. I'm His so name is Billy. I, I work with a Billy, or I used to work because my <laughs> last day Billy of work Jenner's. was the other day. Um, <laughs> anyway. See you, suckers. But uh. Billy Chinaris, that's great. <laughs> uh, but we, me and you guessed, I don't know if this was on or off of the podcast, but me and you guessed yeah. that, the, that just from what we know about the Attack on Titan game, we were like, probably holiday 2016 if yeah. we're lucky, and if not... Uh, if we're not lucky, then early 2017, because we haven't heard anything about it. it the way they were talking about it, it seemed like it was in, like, pre, maybe even pre-pre-production. Right. Like, still ideas, yeah. storyboard stuff. But uh, somebody, just somebody over in that Japan over there, <laughs> that there Japan. That there Japan. They, uh, they did an interview with, let's see. Dinkeki Online has an interview with, Dinkeki. not even going to try, Koit. Tecmo, Boy, Tecmo, managing director Hisashi Konuma on the company's newly announced Attack on Titan developed by Omega Force. So they did a, he is uh, the managing director on the game, so they did an interview with him. And here is the highlights. The project began uh, from around the end of 2013 into January and February of 2013. Oh, then they're working on this for a long yeah, time. Yeah, so this they've been be working on this done. for a year. <laughs> basically for like a year a year and a half which is awesome uh which means they probably have about a year and a half left because the games are usually two three mm -hmm. year cycles um especially with the freaking way that they're describing this it's an action game that factors in the elements of being united with your companions and the sacrifice of your companions it's different from uh from what many refer to as a hunting game i don't know about that um the game also incorporates ideas by the original author. Uh, it'll follow the original story. Uh, and they basically just said, 
It is an action game where players can move around the world of Attack on Titan as they like. It won't be a defeat the enemy, progress the story type game. At its core, it's an action game, and within that, players will be able to understand right. the story. Right here, when I read this, I'm thinking kind of like a Spider-Man 2. I'm thinking gosh dang infamous <laughs> Attack on Titan, yeah. right? Like a Assassin's Creed, yeah. Assassin's Creed and Spider Man. From the way they're describing this, maybe it'll be different <laughs> because Japanese developers, th there aren't very many Japanese open world action games. It's true. Besides, uh, I mean, like if they are, they're usually RPGs. So yeah. the way they're describing this, though, sounds like it's a freaking open world action game, which is my favorite genre. <laughs> so right. I would, I would love this if this is good. Oh, the game originally. Um, it was originally being developed as, with PS3 as the lead, like, yeah. platform, and then they were going to put it on Vita and then mm, port it to yeah. PS4. But now it's being developed at, with PS4 as the lead platformer, as the lead platform, and then, you know, do what they have to, I guess, to put it on PS3 and Vita. But right. uh, PS4 is the original, like, what they're going for, which is yeah. awesome because it showed that they were like, okay, let's put this on PS3, and then they had, like, two many ambitious ideas and they're like mm, we need more power yeah more power <laughs> we need more power uh the 3d maneuver gear is the most important element making sure you move and fight comfortably with it and without Sorry. compromise which is awesome mm -hmm. um it says I'm, whether I'm kind, of, I'm kind of interested in how they're going to do that because i mean you know i'm gonna call this right now in the movie or in the show i mean yeah in the um show. it's kind of just off screen you never actually see where the hooks actually land. Yeah. They kind of just, woo. <laughs> um, and, but I'm kind of interested in see how they're going to do this. Yeah. I, I, I think it'll... I don't know. I, I feel like this will be good. I, I just, don't know why. Okay, like, this put more confidence in this. I thought this was, was going to be like a Vita game ported to PS4. Right. Like like a 3DS type. Oh, there was on that, Titan there was that online Attack on Titan game, but the problem with it is that like the game was more about learning how to shoot your hooks correctly yeah. rather than taking down titans and learning how to yeah it seems like they're the really game, trying so. to make it fluid which is yeah. awesome uh it, you know what eric we could make a prediction right here and right now but i won't this is an unofficial prediction uh yeah. i will eat my boot even though i don't own any boots if this game is not an rpg in the end they don't discuss rpg mm -hmm. elements right now but that doesn't mean it's not i i, I mean, feel like it, witcher 3 is an rpg so i mean i don't know yeah and i mean action rpgs are world. a thing that's what i'm saying but yeah. like i i i feel like if it's not full-on rpg i feel like it will definitely have elements of yeah. an rpg mm -hmm. um because it i don't think there'll be a leveling system that's one thing i don't maybe. think there'll be uh, I mean, maybe there'll just know. be, like, crafting and, like... I feel like you'll create your character, and then you'll follow the story, like, as a friend of Aaron and stuff like that. I don't know. Maybe. That's my idea. Um, th this is really exciting. Uh, let me find... They had a release window here somewhere. The games... Oh, the game's action parts has been built and scrapped over three times. As in, they just keep going, oh, let's try this as a as the mechanics and they're like nah let's try this hmm. so they're trying to really get the action perfect which is freaking awesome um where is the release window here there's when it began uh the attack on titan game is due out for playstation 4 playstation 3 and vita in north america and europe in 2016 so it's supposed to be like holiday of 2016 supposedly. yeah i can see that Especially if it was started in, like, 2013. So that'll be, like, a two-year cycle, which... Eh, I, I... Yeah. I don't know. I mean... If it's a two-year cycle, it's not going to be an RPG. If it's any later than that, like, two and a half, three years, it could be an RPG. <laughs> That's my yeah, official prediction. Yeah, I, I don't know. Because two we, years is short. Yeah, I feel like it's going to be... I, I can't really put a point on the kind of game it's going to be, so... I, I hope it's Infamous Attack I, on Titan, because that would be dope. I can see that. <laughs> that would be so I can good. see that. Probably. That would be awesome. Uh, speaking of Attack on Titan, Eric, did you know that the Attack on Titan live-action movie 
is coming to theaters in North America on September 30th. Part one and part two will be YouTube coming people October. People to be 20th. busy playing Ever Taking King. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For by the time the yeah. second one, the part two comes out, we'll be too busy playing everything. But nah, I'm gonna freaking go see this. This is I'll, 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 I'll be I'll awesome. It, but... Um, yeah, <laughs> but that's it. Part one. Uh, it seems like it's a select. Uh, uh like it's not gonna be a huge wide stream widespread thing i mean like no. it, it seems like it'll be uh maybe not every city not every theater you know right uh but a lot of theaters it seems like it's it'll be a lot of places mm -hmm. so hopefully i'll be able to see it uh part one september 30th part two october 20th in north america that'll be interesting i i'm just reading this arrow news here i'm just kind of like was like hmm? <laughs> oh did, did, uh, did you not know about it no i well, didn't know that that you, detail i didn't yeah, know the details there you did know um, that uh constantine is set to that. be an arrow in yeah constantine is coming to four. arrow but i didn't know who this other so basically constantine is like you know well we did originally know that sarah was supposed to we know sarah's coming back because she's yeah, in legends, for of tomorrow. legends of tomorrow but uh we also knew they at least uh they released this that she was going to be Wait. resurrecting in arrow the show before uh, she went off to legends of tomorrow and now they're saying that constantine is going to help bring her back which i think is an Does awesome way to bring constantine in constantine is coming to cw well not no <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> it means he's making a cameo in Arrow yeah, season four. <laughs> but yeah, I know that. But I mean, I mean, it could be like the way that Flash and Adam do did, whereas they were in the show and then they were like, "Hey, we'll go do our own thing over here." Yeah, could be, but uh, I kind of doubt it. But it could be. It could uh, I be. feel like I would actually. Feel like watching it then <laughs> well i don't know Honestly. cw didn't pick it up originally though that that's the whole thing like sure. cw had the option and they're like nah but you never know it's cool that he's actually still out there in in the ether in the world yes. like if, if they the wanted solid. to just continue it they could <laughs> so i like that yeah guess what they announced today at uh that their disney expo thing that's going on over there <laughs> Star Wars, Star Wars, and Star Wars. They announced a Vader, Vader console. <laughs> oh my gosh, that looks awesome. It actually, the console itself looks really cool. The controller looks kind of gross. <laughs> the controller is like all mismatched colors. It's very weird. But uh, here. Oh, uh, yeah, I get it. It's supposed to be like yeah. his uh, chest thing. Like, yeah. With all the buttons. Um, here, I will move it over here so i can show the video watchers uh this is the Got console uh it comes with four classic star wars games apparently too and it comes with battlefront deluxe edition and it comes with this cool console and this uh controller i think the console looks really cool i'm gonna admit it yeah it looks awesome i like the the like i don't know like the the light on him is is really good i like it a lot yeah uh, so there you go. If you're a big Star Wars fan and you're think and you were gonna get yeah, Battlefront this Whoa. year and you didn't have a PS4 yet, or you're like, freaking, I'll just sell my old one and get this one because it looks awesome. That's also a possibility. So there you go. That's what my brother-in-law's doing with Halo Five. He's selling his like when Halo Five comes out, he's getting the new console and then selling yeah. his old one. So yeah, there you go. Uh, freaking. Speaking of Disney Expo, my friend met Marco Parra there. Oh snap! That's and where they were. Disney. And he also met like a bunch of Star Wars creators and That's writers. That's awesome. And got... Did he meet Gary Witta, two-time guest on the Game Over Greggy show, writer of Star Wars Rogue One? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just flexing my kind of funny knowledge over here. Um, mate. I just want to toss this out there for the people who are freaking watching and it, it freaking yeah, words. I you already know this, but I just want to say this. I wanted to say it when we were talking about the games that we had been playing, but I forgot mm -hmm. about it. I have all of my fall games pre-ordered, 
Yeah. Every single one of them. So if I get to stream well, on campus and it. all of my paycheck was gone. <laughs> it's like here's your paycheck and it's gone. Uh, <laughs> it <is> gone. <laughs> uh, legitimately, I had like fifty bucks after that. I had a re it was a really big paycheck, so I was like, I'm just gonna freaking well, do it, and I did it. And yeah. not just fall the division as well. So into spring, spring of next year. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, but yeah, so if I can stream on campus, if I have time, which I probably won't. Uh, and if I can or want to make if videos, you can even I stream, will that is. <laughs> of those videos. And you'll also be able to hear us talk about that on the podcast. It's funny. You're going to have to do the podcast in your dorm. Yep, with Ryan. With Ryan. Like, you should I just really do it really like think. in uh, the kind of funny Let's Plays where Ryan's just in the background, like, calling. <laughs> <laughs> you should totally <laughs> do that. You freaking might. I, I could just sit literally there I'll playing do Destiny, Stone yeah, Face. Or do it. freaking be hilarious. He he keeps telling me that when Black Ops 3 comes out, he's gonna freaking vanish from the face of the earth and we're never gonna oh see gosh. him again. But I was like, Ryan, I think you forget this. We're gonna be stuck in a room together. You can't vanish. <laughs> I'll see you right there. Um but yeah, I'll probably Video literally proof. <laughs> Yeah, I'll be I'll be like, hey guys, look, he's not dead. He's okay. Uh I told I told Ryan this. I think the way that he is going to take Black Ops 3, I think he'll really, really get into it like he does every Call of Duty, except for Advanced Warfare and Ghost. But like he does the one, the ones he likes. And then Destiny comes back. Yeah, I think he'll really, really get into it. But I don't think he'll ever abandon Destiny. Like, I don't no, think he will. No, there's so no way. I, my guess... It's, we've invested so much time in this game. It was yeah. like... My, uh, What's the point of quitting? <laughs> my guess, uh, the way that I predict it'll go for him, is that he'll be playing like Black Ops 3 all day or something, and then at the end of the night we'll be like, hey, you want to go run King's Fall? You want to go do this this freaking mm -hmm. raid over here? And he'll be like, yeah, sure, I can I can pry myself away for two hour and a half, two hours to go do that, and then I'll go back to playing Black Ops. I feel like he won't leave it uh, totally. I don't know. There's no way. Uh, but I do think we will see him less than we think. Like, yeah. in my head, I'm, I'm like, oh, well, he'll still be around. I honestly don't think so. I, th <laughs> I think he might just get stuck. But then again, he could surprise us and, you know, show up more, yeah. more than often than we think. Uh, speaking of Destiny, our only bits of news left is all Destiny stuff. Except for yours. Yours is different, I think. Um, I, I yeah. don't know what yours is, to be Actually, honest. Actually, let's just talk about my stuff. Yeah, what's, stuff what's your topic? Um... Game that's been talked about a little bit. Uh, it's called We Happy Few. It's a dystopian, fut oh. futuristic game set in UK, and basically, everyone is. They have to have. They're taking these pills that make them happy, and everyone doesn't want to be. No one wants to be sad. People are like scared of being sad and depressed and uh, have negative feelings. So they, this pill has make, made everyone extremely happy and like anyone who is not happy gets beat to death basically and so you are brutal. that one person who uh is trying to go against the system basically nice. and it's it's like a mystery and it yeah, sounds like a really cool concept for a game yeah. that sounds it's like it's pretty a... freaky too because like it, you walk you're just walking around and if you don't if you're like Stand around and people like see you that you're not on your pill, and you're like, they start like looking at you weird and giving you weird looks and start talking to you like, hey, what's going on here? Dang, son, where'd you find this? And they, there's some of them, some of the guys who like beat you down. I have to show you the um, trailer. Um, can we just watch the trailer since we don't we have time? I mean, I guess you'll swag for it's, twenty. It's actually really, it'll give you a better idea. Yeah. Sure. In my explanation, uh, I just real quick before we go into that trailer, I real quick yeah. just want to say that uh, since we regard ourselves as a PlayStation podcast, we should note this. Everybody's Gone to the Rapture came out last week, yeah. and neither of us played it. I was considering buying it, but I don't have. I d I'm not interested enough. Like I'm interested. But right. just not past the line of like enough to spend. I know it's a short game, but it's like I don't want to spend so much time walking mm -hmm. around, and I don't know. I I might okay. at some point like if it if it goes on sale, I'll probably I'll probably play it. But at the moment, I uh, I try and stay on top of that stuff for this podcast. That's why I played the order and stuff. But this time I was like, 
eh, we already have a lot to uh, talk yeah. about. So at some point, we'll probably get around to it. Also, there's a crap ton of places and stuff to talk about anyway, so not much of a worry. All right, I'm opening the trailer. All right. Okay. I'm at zero. Three, two, one, play. Probably gonna be a lot louder than I thought. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. Well, hey there. Hey there, Uncle Jack. Wakey, wakey, everyone. It's another fabulous day in Wellington Wells. The weather is only slightly rainy with streaks of lovely sunshine. <laughs> Everyone in Wellington Wells is doing exactly Gosh dang creepy. Smiling and laughing and taking their joy. Yeah, the pill's called joy, that's what it is. What about you? That's right. I'm talking to you. Are you doing what you should? <laughs> of course you are. After all, you're not a downer, are you? We know what to do about downers, don't we? Some people have asked me what to do about the happy, excited throngs running through the street. Oh no! Get out of there, man! Go! Oh no. Join the fun! <laughs> so yeah. That's a really cool trailer. I, I hope that that freaking gets uh, more exposure when it comes out. Alright, really it's cool. actually... Um, gonna be released on consoles. It's not like a, it. Good. looks It looks really like. That's what a, I was. I wanted to say that, um, but I was like, kind of suspicious that it wouldn't. Yeah. It, it looks like a like a, a small, tiny indie game, but it's actually being pushed as a low end AAA, basically. Awesome. That so. that looks really really good. I I'm down so, yeah, for that. I mean, it looks cool. So and it looks like it has a cool and interesting. Uh, yeah. Mechanics. So when that comes out, we will uh, we will be on that. If that comes out on consoles anytime soon. Consoles and PC. So this next information is like I'm really excited about, but we should talk about what already happened. Yeah, that's that's where I was gonna go. Yeah. So, so Destiny players, you know that one. Wait, weapon. Let me uh, yeah, I, I wanted to say something because I, I was following the uh, Destiny Reddit. Um, the day before Reserve came, last the last week, uh, there was like a prayer post, and like people were like, "Please bring Bones of Vio." <laughs> and next day, Zer comes and he brought burnt Bones of Vio, and then next week they wanted. They wanted him to sell the RAM, I think. Yep, that's what and I was, was there. So there, was, there was like a RAM prayer post, like, please bring us <laughs> the RAM. And uh, well, they got the wrong set of horns. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Oh. That was good. Uh, but they they got they got one, and they got, got one that they probably a want. Horn. They probably and need they, more. Zer brought Gallo horn. To Zer Destiny. actually second brought third it. time technically. He actually brought it. Uh, yeah. Um, also, wait. Freaking third. third. Yeah. Um, that one time where he didn't have a gun at all, uh, people in other countries uh, that, were like, uh, yeah. Bungie was like, that's fake. What are you doing? <laughs> I don't care. I mean, <laughs> I don't time. doubt it because I, I think they it. wanted to just have the announcement of the nerf before um, it was sold. So I don't really care. Yeah. But yep. it's second time officially that he has sold it. Officially, yes. I, I don't believe that. Uh, but, yeah, so he freaking... He, I I called it. I, I called it wrong What is what I'm saying. I was like, when, ever since, I don't know, freaking a couple of months ago or something, whenever said, we discussed this, I was like, Zuri is no never way. going to sell no it. No way. I was like, never yeah, going to can. sell it. He's still... I, I don't role. believe it. I still can't believe that he did it. Like I, I think I, I don't know. There must be some big nerf coming. Like I, I it must it's be big, like or there must be. To the wolf packs. That's... How do you freaking know that? Is that some rumor? Cause that's not confirmed, mate. I you thought it was. Not all these not but, I mean, stuff. there's that... no way they're gonna. There's no way they're gonna nerf it that hard. Yeah, I feel like they're gonna. I feel like it's gonna be definitely noticeable though. Like, 
Well, yeah. Oh man, I I can't believe. I mean, I was wrong. I guess I I still stand by my freaking fact. Like I if if he hadn't have sold it, like if I don't know, I was wrong. But I still think that my logic was very sound because it's the most Wait, powerful gun in the freaking game. Why would he sell it? it doesn't make any sense. There's gonna be better exotics in the taking game. Exactly. That's the thing. I thought he would, but if he ever did, my caveat to that prediction was that if he ever sold it, it would be either, like, right before a big nerf or right before yeah. new exotics or something or, like, a freaking exactly a year from when he last sold it or something like that. Something, some way. But this, like, changes my prediction a little bit because, like, this is, like, three weeks before uh, the mm -hmm. Taken King, and I was like, that, that, that still is shock. That's shocking to me. I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll say I'm wrong on that one. If he had get, given it two weeks in advance, like right before the Taken King, I'd be like, that was kind of part of my, part of my prediction. But mm. freaking, there you go. Sold Galhorn. Congratulations to all the freaking people who have been hunting it for yeah. like a year. I actually, <laughs> apparently, okay, like every, what was it, 14th of August, it's going to be Galhorn Day now. Um which apparently oh yeah i was i was in patrol doing the queen bounties and uh i was in the coast the forgotten coast and me and this dude were just doing the wolves and, <laughs> and me and him had both had their gallhorns out and I, we were like teabagging in front of each other just going crazy <laughs> and and he, he messaged me saying happy gallhorn day and i looked <laughs> I looked at it. I messaged That's him back great. saying the same thing, and That's freaking amazing. And then I looked at his Gellhorn. It was brand new, so I was like, "Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's, that's so, so funny. awesome! That's great!" Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's just oh, great. And, I've had a few people like that. So. Oh, and Gabby and Jared freaking got their yeah. Gellhorn. I freaking... drug my butt through <laughs> on oh. the goal. To level thirty for the also, <laughs> they got it. Also, we didn't say this. We raided with Gabby and Jared for the first time last week. Uh, so Jared <laughs> got Hawk Moon during the raid, Jared got and then he got Galhorn on the weekend. So his first two, two exotics, exotics are Galhorn and Hawk game. Moon. Basically, best. In so one of the top tier. So congratulations, Jared. Andrew's not happy with Jared because Andrew's watch, still hunting Hawkmoon. Watch now, uh, Andrew or Jared's gonna like do some bounties and then get Thorn. Thorn, the Thorn bounty, like that's gonna be his next one. Oh my gosh, if that was his freaking next one. Huh. Uh, yeah, get him into trials then. He's good for trials. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Uh, Thorn is the only thing you need. <laughs> Basically. Basically. And he has Matador, so I mean. Yeah. Oh man! The cat is laying down. Wait, did I? I think I put the same news article in here, or the the same topic here on the doc. I think I put it there twice. You did. Yep. Because <laughs> <laughs> one says Bungie's Twitch stream schedule laid out, and then the other says Taking Bungie's King. Taking King stream schedule, <laughs> <laughs> and they're both the link to the that? same thing. <laughs> they're both the exact same link. I have no idea. But uh, here, let's go over this and then this, go over. I'm the excited drop. about this because I I enjoyed what they did with the um, with uh, House of Wolves. Yeah, I uh, like the Twitch streams. It was fun, yeah. and everyone was freaking out like, "Oh my gosh, this is so awesome!" And everyone was like, "Freaking Destiny's the number one on the front page of Twitch." Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, it is. This game's dead. Oh, people still <laughs> play this game, and then I just freaking screenshot them like the number one thing on Twitch. Uh, <laughs> so. Here, we have time, so we can read these uh, short paragraphs. Because it's kind of freaking weird. Some of these, the this first one is easy to tell what it is. But then the next two are kind of vague. The second one is very vague. The third one's kind of specific. Uh, so this first one is going to happen freaking the 19th of August when the Black Ops 3 beta happens. Um, this, yep. Wednesday. This, yeah, Wednesday. this Wednesday. This Wednesday. I'm excited. Uh it's called Destiny Year 2. Uh, it is the people who are going to be on it. Executive producer Mark Noseworthy. That is an awesome last name. Uh, senior design lead Tyson Green. And the community uh, person Cosmo. Is, yeah. From the Destiny Reddit. 
I'm excited to see him around Dest or Bungie. That's cool. Yeah, so it says, How will your personal highlights from the first year of Destiny translate to the second? What will your Guardian's lifestyle be like in the new and improved tower? How will your Guardian be a become a more per powerful snowflake over the course of your next journey? Is it true that character level and light will rise in exciting new ways? All will be revealed and explained. And this says, pro tip, don't dismantle anything until the full developer briefing. It's so a good think, pro tip. <laughs> yeah, which I think it's funny. I think it's, I, I really think it's funny that they have to put that disclaimer. Whereas like they announced the legendary thing. And some kid out there is like, oh, dismantling everything. I don't need like, this how? anymore. What kind of mentality is that? Like, yeah. oh, must have throw all my hard work away. Yeah, bro. and also, like, freaking, because you, you don't already still have a month and a half left of the gosh dang game. Yeah. <laughs> you still can use those. Oh, right. um, Second one, Strike the Dreadnought, uh, which is the week after on Wednesday. These are at 11 a.m. PDT. Uh, this one... It includes the design lead, James Ty, I guess you would say for his last name. And, and Mr. Fruit. Fruit Nation <laughs> I tried to like copy his voice right there. Mr. Mr. Fruit. <laughs> <laughs> Fruit Nation Ambassador, Mr. Fruit. That's the Fruit one I'm Nation most, Ambassador. Yep, that's, that's the one I'm most excited about. Uh, Mr. Yeah, Fruit's Mr. Fruit's, Fruit's awesome. great. Uh, what's it, see, this is the one that's kind of vague on what they're showing. What's it um, like to infiltrate? I've heard it's just they're just going to show a strike, play through a strike. Interesting. What's it like to infiltrate... Well, I mean, that would make sense with the title right here. Uh, what's it like to infiltrate the Dreadnought? What surprises do the Taken have for us in combat? How are boss battles different? Yeah, that sounds like a strike. Oh, well, it says right here, actually. <laughs> Join us for a new strike against a rival Cabal invasion force. See the new Guardian subclasses in action. Witness the action that will begin year two. And then Court of Oryx, which is the Wednesday after, of course, the second. This is September. obviously going to be the most vague one. Yeah. Because this one seems they don't want to like give they're just away. going on patrol in the Dreadnought. That's what it seems. Yeah, like. it is. Because um, they're br they're bringing out freaking uh, Luke Smith for this one, so. Yeah. Designer Ben Womack and Scarab Lord Luke Smith and uh, Cool Table Ambassador Lace the Florin. I, yeah. I like her. So um, she's cool. Yeah, that'll be. That, she'll be a good community person. Uh, what mysteries lie in wait within the cavernous hull of the Dreadnought? How can Guardians plunder the treasures secreted uh, away in its hidden labyrinth? Come along with us on a patrol of the newest destination in your director. Learn how Guardians can instigate public events. Behold the challenges and the rewards that await you on board the capital ship commanded by Oryx. Dun-dun-dun! Yeah. Sorry. Uh, you, you gotta add some dramatic music. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, that's really exciting. I'm I'm glad that they laid that out. There wasn't much else in the weekly update because they were like, we just got back from Gamescom. <laughs> let us let us debrief here. <laughs> so yeah, be excited. I am. So yeah. So that's it. <laughs> we have the drop. I want I I just want to say this, Ryan Clements, PlayStation Powerhouse. I know you're listening out there i know i know you're there <laughs> he's watching he, this specific he, he has to be because last week we were like we really like the format but it w i do miss the pictures next to the game and guess what he has the new format but there's a single bigger picture for each game so he yeah. must have been listening ryan comments place oh. in the powerhouse tweet at me at <laughs> Uh, pictures and some videos so if you don't know how we normally do it we go over all of our news and then we go over the drop which is the upcoming playstation games that come out on the tuesday and or other days in the week uh after this podcast goes live so here we go brought to you by ryan clements playstation powerhouse adventures of pip for the ps4 here i will go to the uh, page so the video watchers can see the pictures Adventures of Pip for PS4 Digital. Adventures of Pip revitalizes the classic side-scrolling action platform genre. I, that's, that's a lot like Rogue Legacy. That's gosh dang real. That's real presumptuous for them to say revitalizes the side-scrolling action platform yeah, genre. Because <laughs> that has I mean, had a lot Super of stuff Mario recently. World, I mean, well, that's old. That wouldn't be yeah. revitalizing it. Exactly. But freaking Rogue Legacy, Shovel Knight. Yes. Like, there's been a lot of recent ones. Uh, 
the ultimate digital underdog is a lowly single pixel in a 32-bit world who proves that you can't judge a hero by the fidelity of his shaders. Actually, I remember hearing about this. This sounds interesting. This sounds like it could be really uh, funny. It's about a, pi a, a pixel in oh. a 32-pixel world who's like going on an adventure because they're all like, <laughs> you're not one of us. Pip's the pixel. Yeah, adventure's a pip. So I, I might look into that. If that's like... 10 bucks or something i might I freaking yolo. if yeah. that's a guy oh it's not it's just ps4 i was about to say if that was the gosh dang ps4 vita cross by yeah oh, but yeah. no it's not and then of course th he didn't actually start off uh the just the drop the with the arcade archives this time it's second what is this bomb jack <laughs> for ps4 bomb jack that looks so like it's an arcade archive baby. yeah i know but what <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I don't know, know what's up with that character on the bottom. He looks like he's split in half. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bomb Jack is an action game that released by Tekken, spelled T E H K A N, Koi Tecmo Games in 1984. Wait, Wait a minute! The same guy from the Attack on Titan, oh, right? Attack on Titan. Whoa! Hey. <laughs> okay. Uh, players control Jack, a superhero who can leap and glide to collect all the bombs in the game stages. Sounds basically Attack on Titan. Uh, <laughs> basically, <laughs> we've if, been gliding. If you're waiting for the Attack on Titan game, this play is this your... game that the Let's hold you over right these, here. Play that it these all developers' the time parents and made, <laughs> and then the kids inherited the company, and now they're making Attack on Titan. Um, oh. The bridge for PS4, PS3, Vita digital three-way cross by the bridge is a 2d logic puzzle game that forces the player to reevaluate their preconceptions of physics and perspective <laughs> dang That's i don't want any of that in my life that sounds like it's going to give me a migraine it is isaac newton meets mc escher manipulate gravity to redefine the ceiling as the floor while venturing through impossible architectures so really sounds like a gosh dang acid trip <laughs> to me looks like it <laughs> oh man so wow. we got Destiny, right? <laughs> <laughs> Color Guardians. Color, Story, Color Guardians. Color yeah. Guardians demo. And this action just, act. Games. This says demo in the title. Demo. Yeah, you're wait. You're right. What? But this doesn't look like a demo. It looks like it's an. Mm -hmm. I don't know. This looks interesting though. But yeah, it's an action-packed game with a whole spectrum of tricky obstacles, vibrant worlds, and dangerous hazards. Enjoy a new adventure across over 70 levels on well, 70 levels whoa, on both PS4 and PS Vita. What? It doesn't say that in the top though. It just says PS4 digital. And this Come on, PS4 Ryan Clements. Ryan, ah! maybe this is the full version, but Ryan Clements just put demo. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, and swap your own colors as you try to restore life. This actually looks interesting. I might look into that. That looks like it'd be a good Vita game. Uh... Curses and Chaos, PS4 and Vita cross by. 2D, in this 2D arena brawler world, there's only one law fight or die. The Wizard King has cursed Leia and, Le Leia and Leo, the fiercest fighters in the land. Now living under the shadow of death, they're, hu they're hounded by ghouls and hunted by the Grim Reaper itself. Well, God, that sounds, sounds, epic. sounds dangerous. You don't want to live like that. Next we got um, Dungeon Travelers 2, the Royal Library, and the Monster Seal. <laughs> and of what course, it's a kind of name. It's a gosh dang. I saw that cover. I think we and saw I was this like, before. This is a Vita game. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're, I'm not even like gonna, a, we're not even something with that. like a really long name. I mean, well, it, that's every Vita game. <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're not even gonna read that freaking you know dungeons and, and japanese stuff uh <laughs> gianna yeah. sisters dream runners for ps4 uh the art looks cool in this that's all i can freaking say uh yeah. run and jump dash and smash sonic days and teleport morph and <laughs> cannon oh you get the idea mess with your opponents oh the game pits up the four players or ai opponents against each other in local and online competition all right that sounds cool Hey. Oh, that's out the on Wednesday though. Yeah. Cool. Hell Divers Super Earth Ultimate Edition. Yeah, got all that PS4, DLC. PS4, PS3, got all that and DLC. PS Vita. If you have not played Hell Divers, buy Hell Divers and play it. Hell Divers is awesome. It's great. Uh, yeah. Pure Hold'em.
For PS4, poker. <laughs> Moving on. The Quiet Collection for Vita. That looks kind of creepy. It's like one one bit pixel. Game. Are those freaking rabbits down there? I don't know. This is actually. What would this be? Eight bit? I'm guessing. Maybe. Yeah. Explore yeah. and interact with your environment and solve puzzles. Yeah. All right. Uh. Oh, this last one is freaking interesting. But before, oh, okay. but before that, we have Resident Evil Res Re Revelations Two. Ooh. The Vita. Vita <laughs> gives you full okay. access to all story episodes and a ton of DLC content. So there you go. And this last one is what used to be known as Zombie U, which was a really exclusive game. Really? And now it's on PS4 and Xbox I One. I didn't think it would be that, but... Oh. That is what this is. <laughs> I heard it sucked. Yeah, I heard it was... I heard it was very mediocre. That's, that's what I heard. It was very, like, eh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I don't know how it is now, though. It could, it could suck because it was made for the Wii yeah. U. And now coming it's... To, on, coming to PS Video, we got Wii Wii Raw. That was down <laughs> 2015. <laughs> Wee Wee Raw. <laughs> Got Homeland Season 4 and Fear the Walking Dead. That's probably like a season pass pre order type thing. Yeah. Which is cool. I'm excited for that show. That come That's going to be cool. Wait a minute. When does that freaking start? I uh, remember hearing. Question. Oh my I god. Thought it was August, I thought actually. it was August too, right? And that popped in my head and I was like, wait a minute. It is August. What? It's August now. <laughs> Yeah, what date though? Oh my gosh, next dude! Week? Next Sunday. What? Next Sunday. <laughs> TV. 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 Finally. Oh my gosh. It's finally oh, also, happening. I, we haven't uh, watched TV in ages. At least fifty-six me. minutes into the podcast, and I go back to the intro where we're talking about what we've been playing, and I've also been trying to incorporate what we've been watching. I'm in season three of Star Wars: The Clone Wars. That's it. All right. <laughs> so they, they're getting real good with their gosh dang battles. That's all I have to say. Their battles yeah. are getting real cool. Between Grievous and just everything, man. That's so cool. I they, need to the like big massive scale stuff. But then yeah. again, you have your off the beat freaking politics episodes. Yeah, I mean that's a Star Wars <sighs> show for you, though. Know? Those freaking politics. Can I have that trade federation? Eric, do you have something random to show us? We might uh, hit our exact I don't have one something hour mark. That, I don't have something random to show you, but, I mean, it, this will make up for it, I guess. Maybe, kind of, no. Maybe. Um, but I wrote a note for myself to remember myself. This, uh, you will not see me in this room next podcast. I am moving into my sister's room because oh, she went off to college. Oh, snap! And the reason is that because I knew the wall right. on the other side uh, doesn't have the door blocking it away like it, it does here. That way I can put this table and this table beside each other on oh, the same wall. Oh, cool. That's... And then I'm going to use her bed, which is like really tiny. Nice. Instead of this giant thing. Awesome. I knew you were reorganizing the room, but I, I figured you might freaking switch rooms because sometimes the other one's bigger. So. Yeah. Awesome, dude. Sweet. Uh, so yeah. there that is. Uh, let me find a random object, i.e. I mean, here, I have triple X root beer cap. Nice. Um. I have. It's really good. It's like super sweet. Nice. But, um. I have this control freak for my Xbox One. Here, I was gonna show something back It improves here. your aim if you're having problems with that. Yeah. Um, along with this one cap. Actually, I have a collection Oh, you gonna go buy Fallout cats. 4 with uh, yeah, I'm gonna buy cats. Fallout 4 with cats. Some um, dude did that, yeah, I did. They did, um, but yeah, I have a lot of different caps in here. Nice, weird, nice. Congratulations on your bottle cap collection, mate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know you worked very hard on it, it's been your Definitely. goal your whole life is to collect, <laughs> collect enough bottle caps to buy a full $60 game. <laughs> I'll buy Fallout 4, 5 with that. <laughs> there you go, because one day you'll have to collect it. Man, freaking Fallout 5. D you, when, the question is, when are they going to freaking announce El the next Elder Scrolls? Elder Scrolls. That's going to be crazy, because that's going to that's gotta have I, to happen soon. I bet it's next year. If it's yeah. not next year, it's definitely the year after. Mm. But it, I but think I it mean, might be next year. It's just, man. Also, Eric... I am I am stalling be... because I've been 
trying to time this to end this podcast at exactly exactly an hour. It's not going to be exactly an hour, but within an hour and an hour and one minute. That's my goal. So we can do this. I we mean, have, where are we at right now? I mean, we're at fifty nine and fifty four <laughs> seconds, fifty five. All right. Yeah, we're so we're gonna count down to where we are. <laughs> I mean, we, well, that is it. Reach out to us on Twitter. I am at TBCEC. Uh, uh, at Legend PVM. Let us know if you're liking the podcast. Tweet at us. Tweet. Do the Twitzers and stuff. I I would like to use Twitter, but no one tweets at me because we wah, have two viewers. Wah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> we love you though. We love you. Yeah. Uh, thanks. Thanks for watching, Ryan Clements, and <laughs> we'll see you next week. Bye.